hey guys recently i gave interview in automotive company and they asked me to implement this some logic in matlab simulink okay let me share with you first they told me explain about saturation law okay it is very simple if you want to limit the signal like upper and lower then you can use the saturation law okay let's take the saturation law okay i will search saturation with the help of this block you can set the upper and lower limit okay i will set upper limit as 40 and the lower limit i will set as minus 10 okay minus 10 uh, let me take one constant block so that we can send the values and i will take one display so that we can see the values and here you can see the upper and lower limit the upper limit is 40 and the lower limit is minus 10 if i send 50 as input then the display will it will show 40 because the upper limit is 40 and if i send minus 15 then the display will show minus 10 because the lower limit is minus 10 okay you can see here uh, i will keep this as 60 okay i will run this simulation here you can see it is 40 because the upper limit is 40 and i will also test the lower limit i will keep this as minus 30 and i will run this simulation here you can see it is displaying minus 10 then they told me to implement same logic without using saturation block so let's do it okay and uh, the range was like it, uh, if the input is greater than minus 10 or if it is any value so it must be within the limit the limit was minus 10 to i guess 30 okay i will note down here first what you need to take is the switch okay uh, i should not use saturation block instead of that i will take the switch block okay fine i will take one constant okay from this constant we will pass the values and the limit is minus 10 to 30 okay i will take one more constant i will keep this value as 30 okay suppose uh, uh and uh, okay this is the input for this switch okay and i will double click this and i will threshold i will keep is as 20 okay i will keep threshold 20 if the input is uh, you can see greater than 20 no i i think it should be 30 sorry well if the input is greater than 30 okay the output will be 30 okay this logic is fine okay and if it is uh, less than 30 then uh, this value will go here okay this will be the output now we have to check this minus 10 also now the upper limit is set now we have to set the lower limit so copy this switch okay okay now double click on this the lower limit is so much minus 10 i guess yeah minus 10 the lower limit is minus 10 i will keep 
this equation as greater than and equal to okay fine i will take this output and i will give it input to this okay if the i think here we have to add minus 10 it's added okay fine if the uh, input is greater than minus 10 okay it will uh, let's connect this suppose if it is less than minus 10 like minus 30 or 50 okay let's take one more constant okay uh, once the logic is completed i will explain you okay don't worry i will keep this as minus 10 okay i will connect this here and let me take one display so that we can verify our results see again if the signal this signal is uh, less than minus 10 like 30 or 40 okay then this will be the output minus 10 else it will be this one okay better we will run this i will first uh, set this at 50 okay i will pass 50 value see it is greater than 30 the output must be 30 let's run this see here you can see it is 30 uh, let's uh, pass minus 50 guess what will be the result it will be minus 10 here you can see same logic i have implemented okay without using saturation block in saturation block we will set upper and lower limit just by double clicking on that block same thing uh, i have implemented using the switch block and uh, passing in some values so this is how you can uh, implement the saturation logic without using saturation block this was the uh, question uh, they asked me during interview and this question is very common if you uh, attend any automotive interview and if they ask any questions related to simulating, definitely this question they will ask you so guys take picture or screenshot anything you can note down in your book next time you can uh, apply this logic and show them results well this is the question they asked me in automotive interview well thank you for watching this video have a great day